Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is a Footless Bird, this is your Starbase Gaming Channel, and I am back! Okay, I'm probably still not 100%, but man, I got sick with something and it just destroyed me. Um, not so much I was debilitated or anything like that, that's an exaggeration. I was unable to speak for a while, my throat hurt. And, it, it, you know, I wasn't sick enough to stay home from work. I still went to work. It's just a matter of, you know, getting back to normal. And uh, sometimes, you know, you can feel really sick for like a day. And then for a month, you know, you're trying to get over that one day sickness. And that's kind of how it was. But I am back. I am feeling well. I'm feeling good. I recorded about four hours of, or three hours of Shadow Hearts with a Zappa on his channel because he's playing through it and I took a little break to watch some anime and now you know here I am in the Ledger Dragoon. So with that said, let's get back to it shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful fantastic day today. You may wonder, Fightless Bird, why are we here? We are here because of two things. One, I want to check out that main area, and two, I saw there was a teleport on the right side here, and I wanted to check out that teleporter as well. So we basically ran all the way back here just to make sure there's no hidden secrets or anything. And, uh, well, there's nothing here. And that would have been a great place to put a Stardust. I'm just thinking again, that would have been a really, really good spot, because you had to like go all the way back for it. And uh, here, is this just an exit portal? Does it take us to that one exit? No, it takes us to someone different. What the heck? My name is Faust, a Wingley. The commander of the super mobile Fort Fenvel? Below is the land of Taboo. Nobody is allowed to pass through. If you'd like to stay alive, go away at once. What is that? Sounds like something I'm really interested in. One, I want to get this chest. Therapy ring. You fools! Let's go. Let's go! Let's do this! Finding an ancient wingly god. You two deserve my rest. Walk away, or we'll lose your life. Almost looks like... Almost looks like, um... Who's a thunder god from Final Fantasy? Uh... Rama. That's it. Almost looks like Rama, doesn't he? Uh, let's see. How do I want to start this? Let's start this by powering up our boy. Ooh. Actually, we should start this by speed downing false. And then... We should power up Dart. But I think I'm gonna speed up Dart. Okay, what you got, old man? Ice magic on Congo, that's never a good sign. Oh my lord! What? Well, Congo's dead. What the heck was that? Wait, he gets another turn? Yo, this is this is this is some great ABS is what this is right here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Alright, well, um first thing we have to do. We had to pick up Congo. Next thing we have to do, we have to power up 
dart. Next step. We... I don't, lot of, I don't have a lot of healing items, do I? Did I have a healing rain? Black rain? That's why I had a healing rain. Yeah, I do have healing rain, so up top. All right, let's healing rain. Although I really should just heal and breeze there, but I don't want to take the, I want to make sure that everyone is at max. Should be Dark Stern's Axe. And that's special. Next, we are going to. We're gonna hit him as hard as I can. Final burst. I think the only way I can kill this guy is if I bring him Plavix for that defense reduction. I mean, the uh, defense enhancification. Did that not do any damage? Darn, invades everything. Let's run for now. Why did that not do any damage? And I can't run. I'm sort of trapped here. This guy. If we can't hit him. Diamond dust. All right, this seems like a loss because I can't escape because we're in dragoon form, and I can't seem to hit him. is a loss <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna reset it and I'm gonna go back here to pick up the ring and uh, you know I really don't need the therapy ring do I like do I really need the therapy ring yeah it's a cool item but I don't need it right now uh, let's just man this sucked the way it says mobile fort as well Makes me think if we could beat this guy, we could get like a flying ship or something. But I can't seem to find a way to hurt this guy. I, I do think we should probably come back here to talk to him. Because that may trigger an important event that we need to do later. So I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to go and come back here, except not fighting him. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got the therapy ring. And we are not going... Nobody has allowed to pass through it. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna mess with this guy. That, that, that is, um, that is the thing that I really want to do. But if the, uh, if the game just tells us no, you can't do it, well then, no, we can't do it. Simple as that. Where the heck am I? A little bit lost. There we go. Ooh. Well, if you guys have any tips on what I need to do to fight that guy. I like how his name is Foss, by the way. But I, I have no clue on what to do there. No clue at all. He just completely destroys me.
All right, well, looks like we gotta do some backtracking, so. I guess we're doing backtracking. Can power up our guys while we're at it. Yeah, thanks to the chink movement of Cool Boogie. Kind of rather have her just do that on her own. Really don't want to set anything powered up. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, I don't know how I missed that. I missed that like the last second or something. Gosh, that sucked. Holding is one of those attacks is not enough to put him in yellow status. So I don't have to worry about them going crazy on me. Stunned him, I think. You know, I've been gone for a few days, and the fact that I could still consistently hit the combo is pretty good. Except for Dart, but <clears throat> that, that, that that's kind of a new combo anyway. So that's gonna take some practice. Once Meru maxes out cool uh, runnings or cool buggy. <laughs> Gotta feel the bobsled. Uh, once you max out cool runnings, I'll be able to uh, shift that accessory to dart. And then I'll have no problem doing his uh, moon attack. I don't even know where I'm going at the moment. I think I'm going back to town. That would make a lot of sense. Jeez, why can't I do his combo? I know it's tricky, but I don't know why I can't nail that. At least she's getting it powered up really quickly. I mean, she's doing that like four to five times per combat. Ah, shoot. Of course, I had a hit chart as well. Dang it! Dang it! Urgh! Murder, gur, 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 gur. Can't believe I missed that. I like had it all the way and then just at the end, bam, I missed it. I mean, did the counter and everything. How far back do we have to travel? Eesh. We gotta go all the way. You know what? We could possibly go to the left this time. What is that way over there? Y'all see that? I can't jump over there. I, I thought maybe I could jump from here to here. You can't. That's just going down. Yeah, it's just going down. That definitely looks like something like a secret or something, but I guess not. Yeah, I may be able to go to the left here instead of uh instead of right. And I should also be able to get an item restock here as well. 
which is good because I'm running on healing breezes. Yeah, buy something. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to sell our attack items. Spear Frost. Wave Twister. Fatal Blizzard. Black Rain. Dancing Ray. Alright, now we're going to buy a couple of fogs, a couple of freezes, one sun rhapsody. Now I think I should buy an extra angel prayer. Like resurrection seems to be one of those things when I need it. I never have enough of those things. I do need a heal on Dart. So I'm thinking maybe I transfer Marrow to do a heal. Oh, we got two turtles. I only, only ever have one. Let's see her transformation. Yeah, I know I don't need to do a full special. It's just cool to do a special, all right? She looks so awesome in that blue armor. Seriously, she looks so good. Ooh, look at all the water stuff everywhere. Someone told me to do this, and I, I forgot who it was, I'm sorry, but someone said it was a really smart idea to use her AoE heal instead of healing items because it's really, really cheap and easy to use. Yeah, these turtles are tough. I doubt these turtles are tough. So Kyle, do I get a yippee there on that one? Or does it not count because it was automatic? Ah, that's that one up. So Kyle the Pape uh, in this comment section said every single time she, uh, we get a yippee, she's gonna comment yippee in the comment section. So I wonder if he's gonna comment yippee because she did it. Missed it. I would have double your pee. It should be too hard too to uh to get those SP back up. Okay, uh left side this time. I'm trying to read the sign and I can't. Okay, let, let's forget the sign. Let's just go left. Aha, we can go left. It's a wintry wonderland. Wonder what this place is. Oh, we got a little uh fussy guys, a little ice pick men. Congo goes first? Alright, sure, why not? I thought Mail was gonna go first and I was gonna freeze this guy, but if Congo goes first, I'll just have him smash. Oh, smash!
the snow field. All right. Do I want to change party members? Not really. I mean, I, I think I've probably reached the point in the game where I need to decide who I'm going to use. And to be perfectly honest, I really like Kongo, even though I think Albert is probably a better character. Because Albert has that amazing uh, defense buff, which is just sensational. And in addition to that, uh, Miranda has really good healing. Rose, I think, may be the worst character in the game. Because she doesn't scale very well. Uh, Hashel, I think, is super duper fast and super duper strong. But at the same time, he's not, he's not as exciting to me. Uh, I like I like Congo because Congo just smashes things and that for some reason humors me. Uh, but I still think Albert is a better character than Congo. But I think Congo's more fun. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I, I think I'm probably just gonna stick with these three. I've used every character except Miranda uh in the game at some point for extended periods of time. But now that I'm in disc three and I feel like I'm getting pretty far in disc three. I, I think I should probably choose the characters that I want to continue to power up and just stick with them. And I really like this party. Helps if I press the right button. Brr. All right, right now, why is that yellow? Yellow normally means it's a, uh, a um, a, uh, inn or a clinic. Why would you find an inn or a clinic here? Oh, look at these guys dance. Look at them go. Uh. Oh, sure, Congo's going first again. I don't know why he's going first all of a sudden, but why not? And he missed. That's unfortunate. I like this guy's tail. Got a cool tail. Uh, Dart, do me a favor, shut down the other guy. The bowling. Not the bowling ball. The bowling. Yeah, take this guy out. Ah, oh, I can't do his combo all of a sudden. I missed like every single time so far. It would be really nice if that was an end because we have MP that I would love to recover. Lori, why didn't you join my party? I have something to tell you before we go to Veil Web. It's about Diaz. I see. With this blizzard, it's not a bad time to take a break. Hey, I may have just got my wish. It looks like this is an end. Or if not in, in a uh, resting spot. Make the world regenerate. Regeneration of the world. Ruin of Cadessa three years ago. Seems like this guy survived after all. Well, now is rotten like a fallen fruit. It has the same smell as the world ruled by Melbu Fama 
the wingly dictator. The world, where inertia is considered to be peace, the easy path leads to de-evolution. The overture to the destruction has already begun. Devolution? You are saying that is the reason why magic power is deteriorating? It is not only for you, Winglies. It is a danger for all species are facing. Now, how can we regenerate the world? You Winglies are merely the 107th species. The Great Will, the Creator Sua, prepared the last 108th species. The last species is the last god, which will regenerate the world and lead us to Utopia. Count 108 years, and then the moon that never sets glares red. The moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The moon child of this legend is the last species. It is a god that gives holy bliss to the world. That's not true. You know what I was thinking? And I know it sounds weird. I was thinking that Shauna was a Wingly. Because she has the magical power that Winglies have. And if she's not a Wingly, then the fact that she's a 108 species, which means she's an evolution of the Winglies, uh, could very well mean why she has magical power, right? It is the truth. Then why does the black monster continue to kill the moon child? Oh, the dots. That devil wants to stop the evolution after imagining himself scorched to death by the blessed light brought by the last species. Lloyd, what is the relationship between the divine moon objects you have been pursuing in the birth of the moon child? The ancient winglies fear their status as a supreme species would end, and sealed up the 108th species. The keys to dissolving the signet are the gem, dagger and mirror named after the moon. You are going to release the moon, child. In other words, the god. Using the divine moon objects, if I don't do it, somebody else will. Even the last god cannot escape from the fate determined by Soa. That's all that I want to tell you. The rest will be told by Diaz. If you desire Utopia, why did you take Shana away? What is Shana to you? All the truth will be told in Valweb. Dart, the blizzard is over. It's only sewing a little. All right, well, let's oh, let's uh go back in, obviously. Because we want to check around. Let's keep going. Let's let's rest a little because sometimes this game has had it where you have a break and yet your break doesn't restore your stats. So let's make sure we have everything restored. I almost forgot how to do Albert's voice there for a second. I was just like paused and then it came out wrong and then as it came out, I was like, oh, that's right. I give him that voice and I. Oh, is that a, a skelly man? I'm a talking skeleton! Uh, Mr. Bone, his name is Mr. Bone, that's awesome. Oh, look how he crumples too. Oh, that's great, I love it. Gungo smash skelly man.
To hit Congo, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm probably okay with that. I think what made it determine if I keep Congo is his last edition. Like, whatever his last edition is, I think that's gonna make a big difference. Because if it's a cool edition like all his other editions, uh, I may keep him. Keep the counters. I was trying to go see the sign, and I went flying. And I have no idea how to like stop momentum or do anything. Like I was pressing the button on every single one of those, and nothing happened. Hey, it's your fault, Dart. You slipped, and we all ended up in here. Oh, these are the ancient characters of the Winglies. Let me read it. Wingley's ouch most. <laughs> Oops, it's too hard to read. Can you do better than that? There are some human characters too. Gigantos, too. All the dots. I was bad at classics. Can you read some of them, Rose? The cursed land where the decline of the Winglies began. Nobody is allowed to touch the door. The judge Nemos of the court of Xenobatos. Xenobatos? Isn't that like the uh, the thing that the uh, Final Fantasy X, the, the giant sword attack that one guy does? Oh, that's Zomato. Never mind. <laughs> it was one of the most prosperous cities of the ancient Winglies. It's over there? No, my memory is correct. Over there should be Fort Magrath. But Velweb is up there. Let's go back up quickly. Okay. I now want to check that out. The curse of land when the decline of the wingless began. Nobody's allowed to touch the door. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Dart! I thought we had no business in here. But look at Meru. Let's give her a little break. <laughs> she just lost the water. <laughs> you said it is Fort McGrod. Is this one of the Wingley's words too? No, it belonged to humans. It was the land where Diaz declared war against the Winglies with tens of thousands of soldiers and seven dragoons. I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you heard about it. Dart, let's keep going. Alright, well, let's explore Fort McGrod. I got the feeling like this place, I don't have to come here. Or I don't have to come here yet. But I do see a chest down there, and who knows what we'll find. Oh, look at that big guy. Congo, look like. Yeah, it kind of looks like Congo, except uglier. Um, let's shut down the bowling, we'll go out to the wild. Congo to do with big wild man. Inferno. Oh wow, he spy that. Yo. 
Dang it, why can't I do an addition with him today? Kind of driving me crazy. Cool boogie. Okay. doing on additions anyway I should check real quick let's see uh, cool boogies at 26 of 40 long way to go and at 59 so almost a level up and then after the level up he will have 20 more to go to max that out all right, Midnight Terror. Sounds like an attack item. Yeah, frightens minor enemies. Is that repeatable? That doesn't look very good. Let's see what else is in this place. Rose? Dragons are descending here in this place again. What we desire is freedom. Or give us death. God bless Diaz! God bless Gloriano! I am to bring light to the human's future. I am to best judgment on the past of the Winglies. I am Diaz! God bless Diaz! God bless Gloriano! God bless Diaz! God bless Gloriano! God bless Diaz! God bless Gloriano! Rose, is anything wrong? No, nothing. Let's move on. We don't need to stay here any longer. Are we leaving purple prints in the snow? Or is that just the lighting effect? Cut down on the mage, my damage that they can do to us. The material shield is nice, but it's not as good as you think. Because the problem with these guys are not their physical attacks. It's their elemental attacks. And unfortunately, material shield will not protect you from those. So in many ways, it's not as good as you think. Come on, Dart. Yes. Never mind, I'm not even gonna get a chance. You're just gonna miss. I do need to defend with Congo here. He needs to get some HP back. Well, that sucked. I go to defend and it ends up biting me in my butt. Jeez, that sucked. Again, that's why. Yes. Oh my gosh, Dart. What's wrong with you, man?
Ah, uh, because that spell that hit him, I'm a little bit less happy with that. He's got a lot of SP now. Should be at level four Dragoon in no time flat, hopefully. It's a little bit annoying. Not totally annoying though, but whatever. I missed? I'm not supposed to miss that. Come on, game. Stunning hammer. That looks lame. That also looks like. So, stunning hammer and a poison needle. Yeah, stuns minor enemies, poison minor enemies. Don't care about either one of these things. That's where this place is called. Okay, I was about to say. Gloriana, wait, it should be called Fort McGrath. Boss fight? Uh, maybe? Pretty sword? Oh, the dots. I heard you were going to have a wedding after this battle. Liz the Gartier are coming back alive. Even if one of us dies, our friends of affection are over. Our bonds of affection are over. Zeke. Your eyes are already looking at our future. Then I will realize the future for you. All the dots. Sometimes, I don't know if you are really the rose that I know. I am just me. Huh? Because the dragons made an appearance. It seems the souls of the soldiers who died in the dagger pain have wakened. Let's go. All right, what the heck are we fighting? Ooh, got multiple targets. Um, thought so because of the way she talked about the guards, but I expected more than just one guy. So it seems like this is a monstrosity that's possessed. Yeah, we're fighting not one enemy we're fighting possession of enemies okay how do i want to handle this um let us i want to power up dart so he can hit him hard but i really would like meru powered up too because dart doesn't have all his special up yet Why don't I have Mary go Dragoon? Because I can't special. So if I can't special, let's just have Meru hit them really hard. Diamond Dust. Go get him, Meru. Okay, that's a uh, that's a pretty good start. Uh, 
Ba, 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 ba. Uh, with Congo, I want to power up Dart. Should have probably powered up Mirror. She probably has a higher magic attack. This is tricky. Do I want to final burst, explosion, or red eye dragon? Now, red eye dragon does the same damage as final burst, but it'll hit all three of them. But if I do red eye dragon, I can only do it once. But then again, I can always just do a physical attack, and this physical attack is basically as much as a final burst, except final burst is higher and more reliable. I think I'm gonna go for an all hit here. That was a really big attack. That was beautiful. Dark elemental attack. It's on Meru. She just brushes it aside like it's nothing. Uh, more da- ooh. Ooh, one of the enemies still is blue. And I did about, what, 1500 damage to it? So that's pretty scary. Yeah, let's hit him again. Put him on ice. Diamond dust. Good shot, Mara. Nice dodge, Congo. Man blocking. I don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of that. Attacking command blocked. Oof. Alright, we got red, yellow, red. So let's go out to the Well, I don't know. Let's go out to the helmet first. Sorry, no yuppie this time. I think I did get off the helmet though. And best thing is, that's the thing that blocked Congo. So Congo is loose. Gotta be kidding me! Instant death moves. Come on, game. Come on with this nonsense. I hate instant death moves. The cheapest freaking thing in the world. Um, go after the sword. Cause I don't want that instant death hit to hit me anymore. It's a lot of damage. I don't think he killed it. Oh, not again! Not again! Oh, God!
He shouldn't have even survived that. The amount of damage that I did to him while he was in red status. I hate that so much. But all my fiber on my being, I can't stand this instant. And it, and it, it, I did kill it. And as a like last hit thing, it killed Dark. Cheap son of a. Congo, you haven't transformed yet. Go ahead. Hit this thing hard, will you? Mario Gratum? I'm kind of more afraid of his instant deaths than his uh, actual hits. Maybe I should have been afraid of his hits. Ow! That one hurt. Alright, it, it's okay. Oh my gosh, look at Mero with 75 HP. Good job holding on, Mero. So it doesn't matter because I'm about to hit him anyway. Such a cool attack. Finish him off, Meru. Come on. Shoot. Should I survive this? I should. Ugh, I don't know. I mean, he is in Congo, which is weak to magic, but at the same time, he is in dragoon form, so. Good, good. First time I did it today. On the boss when I needed it. Still undefeated though. Finish this, Congo. This guy has a ton of HP. Nope, there it goes. Okay. Woo! Woohoo! Ooh, Soul Eater. That looks impressive. Smoke ball. Level up for Dart, level up for Rose, level up for Hashel and Miranda. Be gone. Sword's probably for her. It's kind of sick because I'm not using her. I cannot complain that people bear grudges against me. What's in the box? Armor of your and a panic bell. All right, let's look at this. Item list. Okay, powerful but HP decays. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm not using Rose anyway, so it's not a big deal. Avoids poison stun arm and blocking. That sounds amazing. The others are probably items then. 
panic ball confusing minor enemies don't care about that 100 percent sure escape from minor enemy and it's repeatable oh well that could be useful i guess uh panic ball seems dumb but that seems really good uh armor of your seems really good as well uh armor of your right you're at the bottom um oh the soul eater is for him oh Hmm. Armor of Yore doesn't really give a lot of defense. It's only plus one, but it does avoid poison stun and arm blocking, which is good, but it's only plus one. <sighs> HP decays each turn. So you would need to balance that with something like um, Rose's or Miranda's therapy ring. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? So I don't know if it is because the attack badge is I'm assuming that you would lose HP each turn, and then the therapy ring would gain HP each turn. So they kind of like cancel each other out. So you kind of need to use these two items together. The problem though is, is the soul eater takes my attack up by 20, but the attack badge takes my attack up by a lot more than 20. So I have a 170. If I do this, I have a 150. Wait, what sword was I just using? I think I just put the wrong sword. Oh, hold on, let me rewind that because I don't know what I did. And. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm just reading this, aren't I? My current attack is 129. The therapy ring increased my attack by 20. I'm sorry, the attack badge increased my attack by 20. The soul eater increases my total attack by a lot more than that. So I have 129, if I do this, I have 150. So this actually gives me a higher attack stat than using an attack badge. If it works like I think it does. There's only one way to, d to uh, know for sure and that's to try it out. But if that, if that 10% um, health regen the one statue seems to be of Emperor Diaz. His name is a great and relief. Okay, nothing here. But if if that's a 10% health regen, which I know it is, and that's a 10% health degen, which I'm assuming it is, then they balance out. Now, if it's more than a 10% health degen, though, and it's like 20%, well, then that's a problem. Yeah, that, that that's a problem. I need to get into a fight to check it out. This is perfect. One enemy. Actually, this is perfect for multiple reasons. I need to re regen my HP here. Yeah, he didn't lose any HP. Did you see that? He didn't lose any HP and he didn't gain any HP. So it looks like the therapy ring does cancel out the soul edge. And now by doing this little trick, I can basically restore my HP at a very fast rate.
Like I said, when there's only one enemy, this makes it a whole lot easier. That makes it so much easier. Let's go. I know I hit the right timing there. Dang it, I know I hit the right timing there. Let's head back up. It, it looks like I'm running out of time though. And all, all those chests on the cliff that I'm gonna have to get somehow. And I don't know if I... I don't know if I should keep those in the next video because those are gonna take me a while to get probably. So maybe I should just call it a day here. And then off camera. I'll try to get all those chests on the um on the uh the descent. What I may do is I may abuse the um I may just abuse the smoke ball mechanic. Hit the red, you don't give me enough time to react, game. Yeah, I may just abuse the rewind mechanic here to try to get all those chests. Um, and the escape item to probably just run away so that way it doesn't take me all day to figure it out. But hey, I love you guys all so very much. Thank you all for being here. It is so good to be back. It's so good to have a voice again. And I am really looking forward to everything. Uh, if you didn't know, we had our poll concluded on what RPG we're going to play next. And with 35% of the vote, it was Omori. Edging out Wild Arms in second and Radiant History in third. Uh, really, really close race. Although, I don't know if it was a really close race. The the, the horror one between Dead Rising and uh, a Siren. That was a really close race. Um, this was so close, but at the same time, Omori had it all the way through. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, continue playing games with you all. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and log out here. I'll finish up this battle and then save. Uh, much love to you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter. And you are brilliant. And you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.